Hi, I'm Maddie at Medicines Medicine and this is the third of the four self-testing techniques that I would encourage you to try. Don't forget you're going to try each one and see which one you find the easiest. I use all four really, um, but this is perhaps one of my favourites. I really love this one. You're using your body like a pendulum. It's I also call it the sway test because your body sways, okay? So stand up and do it with me okay no heels for this one so feet firmly on the ground bring your hands against your solar plexus take a nice deep breath in and I want you to say your name okay so I'm going to say my name is Maddie King now what happens okay for me I'm going to show you here my name is Maddie King and I begin, I don't know if you can see it on the camera, to sway forward a little bit, okay? Interesting. If you close your eyes, you may get more of a reaction. So now, let's try, you have my good side now, let's try a false statement. How is it going to, um, how is my body going to react to a false statement? So, hands on solar plexus, and we're saying, my name is Minnie Mouse. And what happens there? Okay, for me, my body will sway towards a truth and it will sway away from something that is not true. It doesn't resonate well. You could use this with foods, you could use it with many things, but it is extremely useful little test. And the more you do it, the more, the easier it will be, the more confident you'll get with it. Okay, so... One of the things which is a really good thing to do when you do any of these self-tests is just say to yourself, I seek the truth and what I do with that truth is my choice. Another thing you can say, wouldn't it be interesting to know, right? Because what this does is it takes away any anxiety around the result of the test. So for example, <laughs> give you a nice one here. If you are a chocoholic, of course your brain is going to affect the test. Of course you are. You are an addict, you little chocky addict. I'm a cheese addict, okay? you Any addiction, anything like that, you're going to affect it. So as a cheese addict, I might take my bit of favourite, ooh, vintage mature cheddar and say, okay, okay, Maddie. Wouldn't it be interesting to know how your body's going to process this today? Or I might say, I seek the truth and what I do with that truth is entirely my choice. Do the test. All right. And it will be that much more accurate. So practice this and see if this is the test for you. You've got one more to try with me. Okay. Bye bye for now. Bye. <laughs>